Hello friends, in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use generative fill. Generative fill allows you to do four different things. Remove object or text from an image. Add a new AI generated object to the image. Extend the image at the edges with AI generated content and replace an entire background around main subject in the image. Selecting an area and clicking on generative fill button without a text prompt will trigger the AI to remove the most obvious object or irregularity just within the selected area. So here generative fill was used without a text prompt and AI removed the tire marks from the road. You can also use it to remove text from your images. Note that the empty area behind the text will be filled with AI generated content. Now, when you actually select something and provide a text prompt to generative fill, for example, here, a part of the road was selected in and the text prompt was yellow road line. The AI inserted exactly what was typed into the text prompt. Now, in this third example of generative fill, first, you're going to select the crop tool, which is located over here. Now, using the crop tool, extend the left and right edges of the image. Now, select the empty space on the sides of the image and use generative fill without the text prompt. What's going to happen is AI will automatically make up the missing parts of the image, extending it on both sides, basically filling that empty space with imaginary photography. This is useful for adjusting aspect ratio of smaller images. Now, another thing you can do with generative fill is replace the background. This is done by using the select subject button to isolate the main object in your image, inversing the selection and then using generative fill tool on the inverted selection with a text prompt. And once the background has been replaced, you can use the text prompt to add new objects to your selection.